All right, YouTube, coming right back at you with another uh, tutorial right here. <clears throat> what you see right here in front of you are two makeshift 3S LiPos that I um, uh, created. I made these LiPos from another fat pack LiPo that I have. And I made this here for a reason. The reason being is that my Terramoto 10 is now uh, in the shop. I got it uh, out back right now. Um, and on the table and what's going on with it is that it flipped I flipped it very very bad um, at high speed actually I flipped it and the, the thing that 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 uh, damaged the truck the most was the weight of the battery I'll show you the weight of the battery I'll show you that battery in a minute alright so the battery in question right now is this battery right here as you can see I got it velcroed to uh to the actually to the truck and I actually use velcro straps to go across the the upper portion of the battery and the lower portion of the battery when it's actually installed in the truck. Um, the Terramoto 10 version 2 actually comes stock with 2S LiPo. This Hexfly 3200 milliamp is a um, Redcast go to for its 2S LiPo vehicles. Um, so you get this out the box with it, which is a good thing. It got these bulleted or banana connectors on them right here, and they, they work pretty good. It's just that I had so many Dean connectors laying around that I went ahead and converted all of them to Dean connectors since this thing here came stock with an actual Dean connector. So I just went ahead and converted every battery that I had. I had actually got an adapter for this right here because I was too lazy to go ahead and do the soldering to it but uh, what I did was essentially I got a, another video up a previous video that I did that's up and I was um, curious to know whether because I, I always said I said earlier in an earlier video that I wanted to convert this battery to uh, to two uh, 3S lipos because as you can see it's a three even though it's a 3S lipo it has six cells in it History to me was whether or not the uh, the battery was ran in parallel by taking these first three cells meaning this is the first 3S lipo and then ran it in series with I mean I keep saying series ran it in parallel with this bottom three rows or as I took this thing apart I had two of them this is the first I took the other one apart and I did find out that there was actually uh, these two individual cells here was actually ran in parallel making a one cell um, and then the next cell was the same way so this was 3.7 volts because it was ran in, in parallel the next two was the same ran in parallel so it was 3.7 volts and these two up here was ran in parallel uh, giving it 3.7 volts as well so that essentially you had your 3S right there they just took these doubles and stacked them like that so it was a little bit more difficult all the un the desoldering was kind of difficult uh, in that sense because I was really hoping to just disconnect these bottom three and then you'll have your 3S LiPo right there but that was not the case however I came with I ended up with these two right here this is not the end result of because this is just a large uh, piece of heat shrink right here with some Gorilla Tape on the bottom there's a reason I did this um, and I did a whole lot of gluing so that's all it is is hot glue and that stuff get hard like plastic so that ain't going nowhere that gives a little bit of protection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fancy a uh, an outer hard case, kind of like what the stock ones come with. That's plastic. That's a hard a hard case right there. This is a 2S, and as you can see, that's it's pretty thick. I've, I've, I mean, it's pretty durable, more durable than than heat shrink for sure. Um, I've already disassembled one of these in the past, so I know what all it entails with it. And I know that this is going to be pretty easy to do. I got some plastic jugs laying around some buckets and I'm just gonna fashion that into this but I've already gave this thing a full charge I'm gonna give it a test run shortly um, but if you want to know what all it takes to do a project like this uh, first off of course you're gonna need a soldering iron uh, get yourself a glue gun this is what I got I think I bought this thing from Walmart for like six bucks I got one of these get some glue sticks of course and make sure that you get a uh, multimedia so you can multimeter it, it, it ensures that you are connecting things properly 
especially when you go to doing your uh, your test leads right here. Your, your uh, I forget exactly what they call these things right here, but these things connect to the individual sales on the inside of the pack, and you don't want to uh, cross wire these things. You're gonna get some sparks flying. But anyway, long story short, these are the, those are the things that you're gonna need. So just to take note again, you're gonna need a hot iron. You're gonna need a multimeter. You're gonna need to use some um, whatever your connectors are. Bananas. This is a Dean's. Whatever your connectors are, you're gonna need that. This is actually 10 gauge wiring. Uh, like I said, this is uh, not the final setup of this, but just to get a test run in, this will do for right now. But you definitely don't want to put anything up in here unprotected like that into a. Um, into your vehicle because it may flip and those things might touch or whatever the case may be. So you're gonna need uh, to get you some some proper uh, power connectors and wire. That's 10 gauge wire, okay. And you're also gonna need these little leaves right here. This is like a uh, uh, balance charger leaves, I believe, what they call. And this is for 3s, of course. And other than that, you're going to need, uh, oh yeah, some heat strength. Get you some big heat strength. I, I actually had to cut the ones I had in half in order to uh, make this work out for me. But I, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Like I said, all this is going to be underneath anyway. So it's just really for just padding. That rubber is just going to be for padding. And I got some more padding I'm going to put in between the plastic I'm going to use and this actual battery itself because that stuff is very soft. But uh, anyway, for this is just a quick, oh yeah, and your little helper. This little thing come in handy, guys. I picked this up at Harbor Freight for like, I don't know, three, four bucks. Let me get my glasses out of the way. Like three, four bucks. And all it does is just got these little clamps on it. It helps hold wire and stuff while you saw it. Comes in handy. A lot, a lot, it comes a lot in handy. So get you one of those little things there too, just for overall projects. Get one of those, it come in handy. A whole lot but anyway I converted this uh, 6 cell 3s lipo to uh, and two individual 3 cells uh, 3s lipos and I just wanted to share that with you guys I got more on this project coming uh, photos and everything so stay tuned till next time it's your boy D and I'm out